today and perhaps over the next couple weeks, I'm going to be talking about my rotator cuff injury and my road to recovery. First, I am 59 years old and fairly active in sports like mountain biking, snowboarding. I've had numerous injuries throughout my life and um, sometimes I go to the doctor, sometimes I elect not to. This is one of the times I'm going to try to uh, take care of my injury on my own and postpone or eliminate the possibilities of surgery. I have uh, broken my collarbone twice. First time I broke my collarbone was an automobile accident and it broke like such and laid over each other. So that was a non-surgery accident that took about a month to heal and I rehabbed myself. My second collarbone break again on this side required surgery. I broke it in three places and shoved it in an inch and a half. That was a mountain bike accident and it required very expensive surgery and a little bit of rehab but I eventually did most of the rehab at my house by myself because I'm very self-disciplined. I've also chipped my scapula once. I broke my humerus Nobody was laughing. Both of those were snowboard accidents. And I've torn my rotator cuff on this side. This would be the second time. First time was a snowboard accident. Drug my hand back really fast. So it was a trauma accident. And it was very painful. But I got through it somehow. And now it's been five or six years since uh, a torn rotator cuff this one is equally as bad it's a snowboard accident that happened from landing on my chest a real sudden movement and it is torn pretty bad um what can i say i don't want to go to the doctor and i'm going to try to get through this injury without any doctor intervention or physical therapist, but only time will tell. If, if I don't get better within two to three months, then I'll have to look into seeing a doctor. The day after my rotator cuff injury, I actually went to work and I have a very physical job and I was able to get through the day but like I said, I'm accustomed to injuries and I have a high pain threshold, but it was bad. So I decided to take a week off work and see if I could at least get the swelling down. Initially, the swelling on this shoulder, which has come down considerably, this, the, the shape of this arm did not match the shape of this arm. It even now is a little swollen up, but I mean, it was a round ball and so all they did was ice and heat ice and heat ice and heat and i did not move it the first day this is day seven and it's really improved you don't want to sit idle with a, a any sort of injury you want to get it moving i broke my leg in seven places and i was in therapy three days after it. I thought that was crazy, but I learned a lot through that therapy that you need to keep it moving. You don't want to lock it up. So you start slow and you build from there. I let my arm rest the first two and a half, three days, and then I started. And the first exercise I did was a little just bit of movement to activate the muscles while you're exercising, you want to take ibuprofen as often as you can to reduce the swelling. Breathe a lot while exercising and drink plenty of water. That helps release the toxins in your body from your exercising and your stretching movements. 